In this next video, we'll talk about strategies for implementing the developer portal. The developer portal is often a new channel of business for companies, and I'm often asked for guidance regarding the implementation of the developer portal. The most common question I get asked is whether to have one developer portal or multiple developer portals for different audiences. There are a host of additional questions that follow, like how do I enable discovery of APIs on my developer portal? What are the best practices for streamlining the developer onboarding process? And should I consider supporting API consumers' software development lifecycle? And how do I measure success? So let's deep dive into some of these topics. Do I implement one unified developer portal or multiple developer portals to meet my API consumer profile? This is going to depend on your developer community and the requirements from your information security team. Many customers have a preconceived notion that they need different developer portals depending on the developer type, internal, external, or business partner developers. Targeting your developer portal to a specific developer type isn't always necessary. However, your information security team may mandate the need to split access to developer portals based on firewall rules, such as in this case, it might require the need for an internal developer portal and an external developer portal. The decision to go with a unified dev developer portal or multiple developer portals is specific to the enterprise. To help inform you prior to your decision, let's take a look at some pros and cons to each configuration. One unified developer portal represents a one-stop shop for all of your API products, making it really easy for developers to discover what API products you have available. From a maintenance and support standpoint, you only have the one place for system administration, for DevOps administration. You can target a single pipeline, simplifying deployment of new API products. So the next question that arises is, well, but not every API product is available to every developer. Some of my API products should only be uh, used by internal developers. So most enterprise companies want to differentiate the API products they expose internally to internal developers versus external developers. And you can still have a unified dev portal by just implementing permission-based access control. Access control gives you the ability to fine tune who has access to what in a secure fashion. And of course, with one portal, only one system needs to be administered, and content only needs to be updated and maintained in a single location. So why would you consider multiple developer portals? Often, it might be because your com corporate information security team mandates separate portals for security reasons. In this case, external developers are blocked from accessing a developer portal that sits behind the firewall on the company intranet. Conversely, internal developers might be blocked from accessing developer portal that sits outside the firewall with products for external business developers. Now, multiple developer portals will uh, need to multiply the effort to administer each portal, update content for each portal, and enable tooling to automate the promotion of documentation to each developer portal. Attract developers to your portal by making your API products easy to discover and easy to understand. Ensure that your developers know how to get started with your APIs by providing step-by-step -step instructions on a Getting Started page. This will facilitate getting developers familiar with your API catalog and reduce the support effort needed down the road. Consider additional online content, such as blogs, forums, FAQs, to quickly turn around answers to developers' questions. Remember to check with your legal department regarding terms of use and privacy policy. You'll most likely need to add some of that to the registration page. Make it easy for developers to get online by streamlining the registration process and remove unnecessary obstacles. You can make registration approval automatic, say, for internal trusted developers, or manual, perhaps, for external developers that aren't known to the company. Next, app developers will need to create an application and obtain an API key to authorize access to the API product. Again, like registration, you can make the approval automatic or manual. And this can be set at the API product level. 
Give your developers the opportunity to try out your APIs. They will gain lots of confidence in your APIs with the ability to try them out first. So what does that mean? That means you give your developers a test environment to test out their application against your APIs. Make it easy for them to get started with a test API key that's automatically approved. This allows them to develop their test application against your test API product with no threat to your production environment. And they can then test out before deploying to production. The advantage of a test API product is then you have control over if and when the app developer is allowed to deploy their application against your production environment. It's important to support your application developer's software development lifecycle. This will enable your developers to onboard quickly, try out the API product, test it, and get the application out to market faster. And don't forget to capture metrics to measure the progress for developer adoption and the success of your program. Please let us know about your experience in the implementation of your developer portal strategy. And thanks for watching.